Hey friends, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead, and it's time for One Chicken, meal number two and three. All right, meal number two, Howard's lunch. I have here one thin slice of onion. When you're putting onion, raw onion, in a sandwich at lunch, you want it tiny, and you want it barely noticeable. It really is almost uh, just a seasoning. It's not really... So you put a slice there. Now, this package is going to get me through two meals. Two sandwiches for Howie, which is considered two servings, and another meal. But I'm going to pop a handful, and yes, my hands are clean. I'm going to take a handful of this chicken. Hold this back up. Now, Daddy likes his meat and everything cut up really, really fine. He doesn't like big chunks. As if I mentioned, we're getting old and our teeth suck. So chewing meat at lunchtime, you know, well, it's all... This is as close as we come to pre-chewed at our age. All right, so we have our onion and our chicken. Now, I'm going to bulk it up. Now, let me tell you something. 10 milligrams of protein. In three tablespoons, there is 10 milligrams of protein, 12 grams of omegas 3 and 6, and what else does it say? It has iron, thiamine, potassium, calcium, riboflavin, vitamin B6. The list is bloody as long as my arm. I'm not going to read it this early in the morning. But it's re they're really good for you. So I'm going to put probably his three tablespoons, which is a serving, right on his chicken. Important that should be mentioned about hemp hearts is they only root retain their nutritional value if they're raw which is how we're using them uh, if you were to put these like Briar likes them on a pizza you put them on after the fact okay but I'm telling you it's a really good healthy way of bulking up tuna chicken any kind of meat hey eh, dear and it's good it adds a nice crunchy nutty flavor to it doesn't it dear without being too crunchy. And if you're like Howard and you're not fond of having lettuce on your sandwiches, which he doesn't mind now and again, in the winter time, lettuce is expensive and hemp hearts are pretty much always, see now how it's taking that mayonnaise and making it really nice and bulky because chicken doesn't bulk up mayonnaise. <laughs> Mayonnaise like, you know, say tuna or, or tinned salmon does, right? So look at that. All right. Make sure we get four slices of bread. I have been known to only do a triple decker by accident. And this is, I build these right in this tub. A little bit of butter. Drop that down in. Cut my, can you guys see what I'm doing here? Cut my chicken salad in half. Right down in there so there's no mess. Butter the bread first. Why? Because it, help, it helps stop any mayonnaise from so soaking in. And making your sandwich soggy. One of you folks gave me that tip. Sandwich number one. This is ancient grain bread. Now see, that ain't no portion for sissies, guys. If you're really cheap, you gotta spread that over three sandwiches, but you know, Papa needs more than just bread in his lunch, right, dear? And there it is. Meal number two, two servings, two sandwiches, chicken salad. Alrighty. Now, I've uh, cooked up some fettuccine. And I set it aside with a little bit of this basil oil on it. 
We're just gonna add a little bit of basil oil here. We're gonna get our pan heated up. I'm just gonna start putting our veggies in to stir fry. First our onions. Add some frozen peppers and frozen blanched celery. A whole lot of zucchini. Yes, we're getting our veggies on today. Once this all starts breaking up, we're going to add in the rest of our diced chicken. A little bit of our home Italian seasoning. A little bit of pepper. We're just going to let this simmer. Now, I'm really going to pick tick people off. This is a can of Elmer mushroom soup and these are my cooked fettuccine noodles. We're just going to bring this all together. Whoops, I'm getting it all over the place. We're going to turn this right down. We're going to do this with some Parmesan cheese. And then I'm just going to take this lid, kind of scoop everything together under there, and just let it rest and turn it right down. We'll see you guys at supper. All right. Howard is late, but he's home. Oh. And this smells amazing. We're just going to cut into this because it is, it has been sitting for a bit. How hungry are you, darling? I'm pretty hungry. Okay, well, it's chicken fettuccine tonight. Lots. It doesn't look like I used a lot of vegetables, but by gosh, there is. You just don't see the onions and the zucchini. It kind of shrinks right down. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Meal number three. How was your day, dear? Long. This is chicken fettuccine, I think. I think? Yeah, I think. I don't know what fe chicken fettuccine is, but that's chicken, and there's, those are fettuccine noodles, so. Mm. Well, if it's chicken fettuccine, it's very good. Thank you, darling. And how was your chicken hemp part salad sandwich today? Meal number two, meal number three. Two more to go, I think. We'll see. This is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying, that's meal number two and meal number three. What'll I do next? We know soup's coming, but we'll see what's happening next. Take care, God bless.